You've just been all over the internet. Courtesy of Vogue. Um, Adele's on the cover of Vogue because she's due to have a big comeback. And um, again, maybe it's just... Um, I didn't know Alistair Matt nearly um Mac McLillan took the pictures, that makes complete sense. But anyway, maybe it's just me being a little bit um unaware and stuff and not really paying attention to stuff like this. And I think, you know, Adele seems to be like the the Jay Z for women, right? People just seem to love her unrequently without really trying to explain why exactly they love her. Perhaps they find her music incredibly boring. Um the kind of music you wanna kinda of maybe jump off a roof of a building from to listen to all the time. I don't really see any difference between the music she makes and someone like a Bon Iver or something, right? But I know it resonates with some people and again, maybe it's because it's weird to say out loud because people will get offended by the stuff like this, but I get the feeling that maybe it was because, you know, she was relatable because she was a fat girl and she was really pretty and everyone kind of saw themselves in her a little bit. And the fact that she had this amazing voice, you know, somebody really awkward and maybe not shy. I don't know, whatever. She had a bombastic person when she got on stage. I don't know, whatever it is, it's, it's woman's business, not my business at all. It's just interesting to see, though, how big of a star that she is, that she's getting a rollout that I've probably never seen. This is like equivalent to like a Taylor Swift rollout, right? small reveals her going to parties um you know the divorce thing happening this breakup the guy getting alimony or the guy get the guy getting paid alimony whatever it may be he's getting like a, a couple of hundred grand per month off of her because obviously she's incredibly incredibly wealthy she then reveals her new boyfriend this black dude i forgot i think he's part of rock nation I'm not really too sure then she does all these pictures of her going to parties and stuff and hanging out she still kept the weight off she was incredible she's not as you know gone as it was before because most is what happens when you when you're really big i've been there before um i was like my biggest was like 280 and i got down to about 180 when you're really really big and you go down really, really uh, by a huge amount you kind of end up looking a bit weird a little bit like a scarecrow your head doesn't fit your body sort of, sort of thing but then as you kind of start to get used to your body you start to kind of maybe you know figure out what weight kind of works best for you because like i said i think the best way to do it is just to kind of get as low as you can and then sort of work your way up to weight that makes sense like mine was like one if if I was if I got down to lowest one eighty six, my comfortable weight was about two hundred two twenty, right around that sort of mark. Give myself a little buffer, and I guess same has happened to Adele. She looks great, fantastic. But there was a massive rollout about all that stuff. You can see all these little pictures, you know, of her. Not really much communication through her directly, but just loads of stuff of her being around and active. And you could feel there was something happening in the, in you know, something there was something in the air. Something was definitely happening. Then all these projections popped up all over the country, all over the world, of the country, all over the world, of the country. She's Adele um, with the number thirty, showing that you know this was an album coming in the way, and and now it's obviously it's been announced that she is releasing an album. And I don't know, man. I think obviously she's a beast. She's a, you know, um, there's a lot of money behind it. A lot of people um riding for him obviously like her for what she does and stuff but i don't know it just feels like the the attention doesn't match what i'm hearing do you know what i mean the music isn't that interesting i don't know maybe it's just me i just find it so like you know like it's cool but yeah big up her still regardless um she looks fantastic that, that, that that's probably the main thing you need to say about this um she was looking great uh, you know uh face snatched as hell great makeup here on the cover everything just looks fantastic on there and again it's just another illustration of just a kind of an unfair not an unfair but a kind of realistic interest that most people know that if you were to lose i don't know how much you lost 60 pounds or whatever on most people you would look incredible that's just the facts of the matter right if you can lose 60 pounds regardless of how big you are or maybe 20 let's say between 20 and 60 pounds you're gonna look fucking fantastic and unfortunately it's very difficult nowadays to do so you know no one's saying it's easy it's very difficult in most times to do so but i think nowadays especially people working from home and being sedentary it just encourages a lot of laziness and um you know people are just generally more they just generally i feel like people generally i don't not say don't care but people are a lot more relaxed about their appearance in that regard so there's not much of a social pressure in that way and of course no one's going to ever call you fat really because you know that would be a taboo and people will be you'd be chastised from your own friendship group so that pressure doesn't exist unless you're in certain type of friendship groups so you can kind of get away with being somewhat somewhat kind of lax with your physique and your fitness and all that sort of stuff right but you really and truly the key we need to take away from this is that she has always been a pretty and attractive woman anyway but she does look far better now than she ever did before and it's just a startling kind of reveal and transformation and again having been a bigger dude before and lost a lot of weight and then gained it and lost it again i know how difficult it is to keep it off so for her to keep it off as a woman especially is just a fantastic achievement and some point needs to be says something needs to be kind of stressed a lot more about it like she just looks amazing 
like she looks amazing. Like you know what I mean? She's still she's still able to keep the hips and the dumper. She looks fucking great, man. Let's not let's not play around. She looks absolutely fantastic. Imagine what the live shows are going to look like visually with how she's looking now and the art direction that they're kind of going for. But the rollout for flipping Adele is just wild, bruv. Like honestly, look at this whole spread on flipping Vogue, mad pictures, a whole interview, and then I think there was a segment here where she said something about she was going to do something with Skepta or something and Tyler Craig and another rumour came out that oh no I'm not doing anything no collaborations the only way I'm listening to this album is if it has those guys on it if this album doesn't have those guys I don't think I can put myself through it but I probably will just to kind of hear what it's got to be said but I would like to hear her do something a little bit more you know I don't know just jazz it up a little bit so she says here let's see this quote it says it's from British Vogue. It says, um, she queues up another. The next song is the one I is one I wrote when I went to the studio the day after Angela said I can't see you. A certain combination of elements, sexy seventies groove, heavy strings, heavier lyrics, immediately calls to mind Marvin Gaye. What's going on? A very big reference on the album turns out. Oh, okay, interesting to see. My little love, Adele sings in a low, smoky register. I see your eyes widen like ocean when you look at me so full of emotion. Between um verses for our snippets of conversation she had with Angelo during the year of anxiety recorded at her therapist's suggestion the song ends with bits of raw teary voicemail she left for a friend she's also inspired to incorporate voice notes by Tyler Cray and British rapper Skepta oh interesting they were rumored to be dating but I assume that wasn't really true um, nothing really came of it maybe it was who knows um, I thought it might be a nice touch seeing as everyone's been at my door for the last 10 years as a fan to be like would you like to come in so okay that would be interesting so there's not gonna be any collaborations but there'll be these little voice notes and you know clips and stuff from her time spent away from the public eye because she doesn't the good thing about her which is really interesting for a celebrity that big and she's clearly got a charming personality i think that's why people seem to like her she doesn't really do many interviews in it there's not much content i don't really know much about the woman again i don't know much about her music either but you don't really hear much about her she's not in the media doesn't do crazy instagram lives seems to kind of keep herself to herself so for sure there's gonna be a lot of material there for adele fans to really kind of dig their teeth in sink their teeth into they've been starved for a while so when it does come out it's going to be wall-to-wall -wall coverage there might be a documentary it's probably going to be a tour because again it's no coincidence all the big stars the Bruno Mars and the freaking, um, what's his name? Bruno Mars and um, Anderson Pack album got pushed back. No surprise. They're both two, especially in Bruno Mars's case, absolute, you know, mega stars. They're not going to go on tour. They're not going to release an album during global pandemic where they can't go to most places. They're going to wait until it's safe to go outside again and they're going to announce the album, then do a massive tour. North America, maybe South America, parts of Europe, you know, Oceanic. They're going to go hard that way. So it's no surprise also that Adele, being as big as she is, would only start announcing and rolling out the album now because Adele can't put out an album and just have it stream and then do a release party on flipping Instagram Live. It's just not what somebody of that size of kind of celebrity and attention and following can do. It's just not going to happen. But I just want to know how much money they spent on the rollout. This rollout is nuts. There's going to there's going to be more to it. It's probably going to be one of those kind of um what are those TV programs called like those you know what's that dumb nut um James Corden. She's probably going to go on one of those shows. She might do a podcast, I'm assuming, right? There's going to be loads of media around Adele and this album coming forward, especially if it talks about the breakup, if it talks about her being 30. I don't know if she is 30, but the name, number, the number, the album's called 30. Um, growing up, starting a family, new relationship, all this sort of stuff is definitely going to be on there. So let's look. I'm looking forward to it just to kind of see what it's going to, just to hear what it's going to be like. But again, like I said, I think for me personally, it's weird to say this, but I think she's like uh, seriously overrated. But again, I don't know. Maybe it's just not for me. That's probably why I'm just not for it. But hey, we'll see when it drops. We'll see when it drops.